this copper here, and then everything under the zerk, and then steel laid over the zerk, just like the copper is laid over here. You got an extra dark zerk line going right there. This thing is so, so beautiful and slick. It's just so slick. I started out wanting a copper and brass, um, but the more I sat around and waited and seeing there was a zerk, more I wanted the Zerk, and um, I missed a, a King Zerk, this, like this one, that was just opened, and the guy was selling it for 200 um, but I missed it, it sold instantly, obviously, because even a used Zerk King will still run you close to... Uh, 250 so anyway the next day or the day after um, someone popped up with a Zerk King and a Zerk Ace sealed um, both sealed in the boxes and they all have their own serial number here if they're limited, well, maybe they all do, but especially the limited. Like it, it tells you the metal and the serial number that's on the box. This king is seven, uh, 179. I believe there are... Actually, I forgot. I forgot how many king zerks there are, but... The ace is, was a... Um, 274 out of 832 and 27 is my favorite number so just like my chill pills um it's crazy if i get uh anything that equals 27 or this is my only actual 27 but um it's flowers, I don't like it all much, but it's 27, I'll take it, you know. Um, just like chill pills, you got, you know, the silver with the blue diamond. So you got your more exotic stuff, and then you got makume, and brass, and uh, bronze. <laughs> so anyway, with the shovels, I've been looking, and I've been... You know, on the post for a good while, and I couldn't see spending almost three hundred dollars on one. Is so I was gonna wait just to get a stainless steel for a hundred used. But yeah, the guy put up my favorite number and an ace and the king for, but he was only selling both together, which um. There are very limited um, ace and kings, so you would have an ace here and a king here, or an ace here and a king back here. Um, I think those are only the V1s, I'm not positive, but they hardly make any of those. So to make, to get one, uh, you have to pay out the ass, or um, if you didn't find one, or, and I don't think there are any in Zerk. I don't know, but, so to make a Zerk one, which is going to be my ultimate grail, I would need to buy a sealed king and a, well, not sealed, technically, but a king and, a, and an ace. Um, so I took the plunge and I bought both, and I, I figured I'd open the king first, since I've never had one, see how I like it, get a feel for it. dust is bothering me <laughs> okay 
this up. Oh my god, still didn't get it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I thought, shit, uh, I'll have a king at the least, and I'll take a loss on it if I need to, and sell the ace if I need the money back, but I still have the ace sealed, but, um, this is my fifth day with this, and I'm still, you know, I fell in love with it right away, but I'm still deciding if I want to open that ace and and switch out the back. Well, actually, I switch out the front, and I probably have ace on the front, king on the back. Um, so then I'd have an AK. A full Zerk AK, which would be awesome. So I'm still deciding on that, or if I don't do that, I'll open the sealed aces and I'll buy um, one of the. This one guy makes um, plastic cases for these that look really nice. So you can display them. Um, so I could. Uh, basically take the ace right out of the sealed box and put it directly into the case, the sealed case, and then, you know, have a, a display Zerk ace and just keep this one to use as my daily fidget and, um, I can't put this down, it's so addicting. Oh, it's a click or two, I didn't even go over everything, but I guess you can tell what it does. You got, it's like a snap slider. And you can go one, two, no, shoot, it's better this way. One, two, one, two. So, there's three states of it. This one, two, three. And uh, you, there is a different feel if you do the back versus the front. If you do the back, you actually can just slide with your thumb and hold it like that. But um, I've been doing it where I put my index on the top right of the back panel and then my um, thumb on the top left and I open it like that which um, and then I just close it like that usually or or I'll open it from the front and then turn it and then close it from the back so it's a little more silent um, it, it really does like I can tell versus the other metals, Zerk feels the best when you're actually sliding it. It just, it's such a smooth, slick feel, just like the look. And, um, <clears throat> I did a first impression video, I mean, not really, but, uh, I did open it and video my first use of it yeah i was in love with it right away still am and um i would for sure suggest one of these if you if you have ocd um stress anxiety if you can't focus um like even watching TV, I can't focus a lot, and um, I just sit here zoning out, so it's really nice to have something I can put in my hand and, and play with, and um, my main thing is stuff like worry coins, um, these are Armstrong Metalworks, this is a Timascus a solar blueprint. Um, so things like this, here's a little green men's zirconium flamed, 
I love this one. Uh, and then, then I got into high tech chips, which I told myself I would never do, but this this scarab protection seal one is just uh, I just loved it, and no one for some reason no one likes these, so they were pretty cheap compared to all the others. And then I did take a plunge and get a double all seeing eye. Which, I don't really regret it, but now that I have, like, this, it's just, like, it works as, like, a worry coin and a worry slab, which I'll get to in a second. Um, actually here. So, lousy values created these, uh, useless stoners. I don't have the lanyard on it and the bead right now, but... They just hold these and they're just like a little worry slab, but I really don't like the paint they chose to put on here, it chips too easy. I don't have any chips on mine because I keep it in good condition, I don't use it really, and it's, it's heavy as steel and it's just, they could have done better, they should have used titanium, but it is what it is. I do have, I had, I got this before the shuffle, in a, um, for a decent price, and I always was into fidget spinners and stuff, but, you know, I would never pay over like 30 bucks or 40 for one, and I thought it was ridiculous too, but this, technically it's a spinner, but they call it a dealer chip, and it's more like a poker chip that spins. Um, I mean, it's really thick, and so you got these ball bearings on it, on the sides, uh, stuck in there. Um, and then little ball bearings up here, don't play with the devil, dealer. And this is actually Zerk in here, which feels really smooth and nice. And then this little ring here, um, you can turn it this way and un unscrew it. And they come with little tools to, uh, you know, there's a bearing in here, of course. I did not, unfortunately, I did not get the extra bearing with this. The guy I got it from didn't, said he didn't have the box for it, so. But I got it pretty cheap, so I can't complain. You can even turn it upside down and do it this way. Um, and you can see this is what I do with my worry coins. I, I kind of just do stuff like this. And so this is basically a, a worry coin that's functional. You know, you can actually, you can actually get, you know, instead of just rubbing something that's not move, you know, this is just amazing, and like, I don't know if it's just the way it is, or if it's the copper, but the finger just sticks right to it to spin it, and you can, I can spin it this way, this way, and it's so smooth, and very enjoyable, and I can like set it in my hand and spin it so it's like the ball bearings are kind of rubbing against my fingers and just keep spinning it like that and it has a really nice feel so that's pretty addicting and um I already want the full zerk they have a full zerk one of these all black and but I guess there's only like I don't know 300 of them maybe I don't even know maybe less so those are really hard to find and if I did find one it'd probably be like $700 there are titanium which is my second go-to um that would be lighter and that would be awesome to have a light one to because it's pretty heavy so yeah titanium would be very ideal 
but the Zerkus is beautiful, and I don't know what it is about Zerk I like so much, but so is that, and like I was saying, how this can double as a worry stone, a worry slab where you can just hold it, and you know, without the, the slide function, you know, you can just hold it and rub it, you know, I kind of find myself rubbing the copper part and get it to pantina a little bit, which, um, I, it can't capture it on camera. Oh, here's a tool, by the way, one of them. Very simple. It's like a keychain thing or a wallet tool. And I use that, you can use that for this on here to either take it apart or keep it tight. And I used it for the first time yesterday to tighten it, which it, it was actually loose and I didn't realize it was even loose until I tightened it and I was like, wow, that feels way tight now. So I kind of got it in a balance medium between really tight and loose. But, um, yeah, I, I've been after one of these guys forever as well, longer than these, and this is made by Thought Pockets, T-H-O-T Pockets, EDC, and Armstrong Metalworks did a collab with him, and had as, this one is, uh, Mak Makutai, or Makutai, whatever, like Makume, Makume Titanium, and it's got, like, bluish pink, uh, bluish purple, which I had a, my Grail Varsity Turbo Glow bead that just happened to match. I thought it was red and blue, but there is a little reddish brown on the back with a darker blue. This looks like a frog right there. <laughs> and uh, if you turn it this way, it looks like a bunny and another bunny. Another bunny, three bunnies. Got like a Donnie Darko bunny, a weird bunny, and another weird evil bunny. And then this way you got a frog and an armadillo or something. But yeah, this thing is beautiful and smaller than I thought it would be. And I don't know why he puts the lanyard hole on the top. Technically, that's the top because, see. His stamp logo, which also looks really cool in there, it's like dark brown. Yeah, that stamp logo just is really neat. And I didn't even realize till I got these that it's basically a domino. It's literally like a domino, but made of different metals and stamps and stuff. But yeah, I don't know why you would put the lanyard hole on the top. It, I use it this way. So I got some grip down here and, you know, rub it and just push with force. Because this is polished. I don't usually like polished worry coin stuff, but in this case, it does kind of relieve stress pushing it, squeezing, pushing against the bead and this. Um, I do really want to get a, uh, bead blasted titanium someday that has more of a, you know, worry stone feel to it. But this is pretty much all he had at the moment, and it, I think it was his personal piece, and I just couldn't pass up on this, and I've wanted one forever. Um, I guess the top bead would be, is, is alright if you want to hold it this way. And, uh, I can play with the bead a little bit up here. Spin it and whatnot. But yeah, I, I like to fall asleep with these in my hand. I also use, um, I also use Koch Tool Cursors which this one has a worry stone feel to it. And this is a perfect worry stone type thing. 
Even though it's a pry bar, I use it as a worry stone. And it does feel really nice in the hand. It feels perfect, actually. And I was falling asleep with this in my hand every night for months. Um, I still kind of do. I don't actually like lanyards on them very much. I actually took that that bead off here. That bead was on here. I took it off um, to put on there. Uh, I actually prefer these without a lanyard. Um, just to hold. They feel better that way without one. But yeah, whatever. They look nice uh, with one too. So yeah, like, that's my buddy Jake, uh, Worry Free Cheese, Cheese Wheel, Gummy Bear, one of three. It's just so dope. I think those are real gummy bears in there. I don't have a lanyard on it right now. Here's his, uh, PVC curds, which I have all of them. There's a bead one. So yeah, uh... Got a 420 OEG, good luck, pry bar, which I need to sell, unfortunately. But, because I don't get any use out of it. If I don't get use out of something, after a while, I just sell it. So a lot of times, I'll buy something, and I just won't use it. So, you know, it's got to go. But yeah, that, that's my uh, little review here about the shuffle if it's even a review i don't know here is a box they every item loudy makes comes in the same box it's kind of weird so hey loudy edc house homie um stay cool and be different so yeah here is See, it's 274 out of 832, so it's uh, pretty limited. You think 832 is a lot, but being a Chinese brand, um, you know, like, probably I'd say 50% at least of these are in China or Japan. Um, there's very little in the U.S., I assume. You can't even buy them in the U.S. anywhere online unless you pay a shit ton on eBay or even then I don't even know about that but you actually have to find the right people on Facebook to get these but yeah that's that's it for now and shout out to Thought Pockets for this bad boy I, I hold this to, so I don't play with the uh, shuffle quite as much because I, I am kind of babying it, but at the same time I'm, I'm not babying it so I can kind of test and see how used up it gets, how, how quickly, and how it feels over time and all that before I decide to open the ace. So, yeah, that's it for now. And actually, I wanna show you guys this. I actually won the second silver honey milk. This is the resin silver honey milk. The detail on the inside, it, oh, I can't get my other one, but it doesn't have the resin in it. Um, that's my favorite, but I can't believe I won both. Uh, they were weeks apart, but it was insane. There's only, there was only like four of these, and I was one of the winners. Um, I love John Ship's work at Harp, Harpua Hound Studios. He's another one of my favorite um, makers. So right now I'm basically addicted to Loudy, Armstrong Metalworks, Thought Pockets, High Tech Gear, um, Harpoo Hound Studios, Chill Pills. 
and uh, yeah, oh well, here, show you guys my soap club soap on a rope, this is a really good worry stone type thing, so always gotta keep one of these, I have four of them actually, um, these are a hundred bucks, but the dude, he, he is so nice, so nice, he actually sent me a prototype for free, can't beat that, that's some nice, I didn't even ask him, it literally just came in the mail one day, and yeah, some really cool people in the EDC community, but there's a lot of assholes too, so, you gotta take the good with the bad, and you know, it is what it is. But one love, and uh, I'm out. I don't know if I'll upload this or not to YouTube, or I don't know. We'll see. Later.